Hey everyone, welcome back to the Weeble tutorial series. In today's video, we're gonna quickly go over how to draw trend lines and support resistance lines on the Weeble desktop platform. Now it's very easy to do, so this should be a very quick video, but first off, we have to make sure we're actually looking at a chart. Right now, you can see I'm on the stocks profile page and I've currently got Micron pulled up. From here, all we have to do to access our drawings is look in the upper left-hand corner. Up there, you're gonna see a little pencil icon. This is where we can access all of our drawings, whether it be trend lines, support and resistance, Fibonacci's, pitchfork, anything like that. To access them, we'll simply click on the little pencil icon and it's gonna bring up our drawing tools to the right-hand side. That's what each one of these little icons is for. Now, starting from left to right, it starts with very simple indications like trend lines, support and resistance. Those are all in this first one. The second one is gonna be more complex drawings, things like parallel lines, poly lines, rectangles, pitchforks, that kind of stuff. And then the last one is gonna be your Fibonacci's if you wanna use them. Now, in order to actually start using the drawing, all we have to click on is the one that we wanna use. In this case, we wanna use a trend line. So we'll go ahead and click on the very first one here. And once we click on it, we're gonna see that our icon changes to like a little pencil icon, which means we're actually gonna start drawing anytime we click. Now, just like other platforms I'm sure you're used to, you simply need to point and click and start drawing your anchor points. The first anchor point is going to start the trend line. The second anchor point is going to end the trend line. So if we just wanted to pick two random points on our chart, let's just go ahead and click here and come up here to the right and click again. We can now see we just drew a trend line. From there, we could simply edit the line by looking in the upper right hand corner. You can see the color of that line. You can see the thickness of the line and the style of the line, whether or not you wanted to make it a dashed line or a solid line, whatever you might wanna use. To edit those, we simply need to click on it and let's make this like a purple line that's twice as thick and we'll make it a dashed line as well. If we lock it in place, we can't move it anymore. We can't drag and drop it until we unlock it again. And then we can kind of drag and move it where we need to, if we need to. And then to delete it, all we have to do is click on the little delete button, little trash can, and that'll delete the drawing from our chart. If we wanted to use a support resistance line, we would do the exact same thing. We simply need to click on this little drop down arrow, find the horizontal line, which is support resistance. We'll simply click on that. And all we have to do is click once for this one. So let's say we found our support line. We'll just put it here for some reason. We just need to click once and there is our support line. Let's say we also wanted to do resistance. We'll go ahead and click on this again and we'll put our resistance up here for some reason. Just like the trend line, if we wanted to drag or drop those, we simply need to click and hold down and drag it up or down wherever we see fit. We could also edit them if we wanted to. Let's make them like a bright goldish color, make them stick out a little bit more. And we could also lock them in place so we don't accidentally move them around by accident. And then once we're done with them, we could simply delete them, get them off of our chart if we wanted to. Now the next ones up are a little bit more complicated. So let's say we wanted to do the parallel lines. We could go ahead and click on that. This is only slightly different because there are three anchor points. We're gonna find our first two, just like a normal trend line. Let's say we wanted to do it right here. And then we would simply move our mouse down to find the third anchor point. Let's say right here. And there we go. We now have parallels right on our chart. Another name for this being channel, if you're more familiar with that. Again, to delete it, we'll simply click on the little delete button in the upper right. And some of the other tools in there, if we wanted to use, let's say a rectangle, we could maybe highlight a section if we wanted to, like right here, let's say. And we could also change the color of that if it was a little too bright and maybe change the intensity of it. Let's go further to the left right there. And I made that my default going forward. So if I were to draw a rectangle again, it's gonna look exactly like that. And you can do the exact same thing to the other indicators, the trend lines, the pitchforks, Fibonacci's. You can save a drawing set so that going forward, you don't have to keep changing the color every single time. And remember to do that, all we did, let's go ahead and delete these first. We came up here to trend line. Let's go ahead and change this one. We'll draw a trend line real quick. Excuse me, I drew a support resistance. We simply came up here to the color. We'll make it a, let's say dark blue, dark, and let's go ahead and set this as the default. So now anytime going forward, I draw the exact same thing, it will look identical. Now in order to do the Fibonacci's, we'd simply come up here to the Fibonacci retracements in this case. You can click on that if you wanna use the Fibonacci extensions or Fibonacci time zones. But in this case, we'll just use the retracements. We'll go ahead and click on that. And we're gonna find, let's just do an absolute high and an absolute low to draw our Fibonacci's. And again, if we wanna get rid of it, we'd simply click on the delete button in the upper right. Let's also clean up this screen a little bit and let's get rid of all of these delete them all here. And the last one we'll talk about is the text box. So if we wanted to draw a text saying by here, we'll go ahead and throw that in there, save. And now we've got a little text box that we could drag and move around if we wanted to, but we'll go ahead and delete that just to get rid of it. 
Now, like I said earlier, the drawings in here are not difficult to use. Just do it a couple times and you'll get the hang of it pretty quick. They're not nearly as complicated as some other platforms out there, but that also means they're not as customizable as those ones are either. But I really hope this video helps to shed some light on the drawings and customizations available to you. If I did miss anything or you guys have any additional questions at all for me, please leave them down below in the comments. Also, don't forget to hit that like button on your way out and be sure to check out some of my other tutorial videos if you did find this one helpful. I hope you guys all have an amazing rest of your week and I'll see you all in the next video.